Before we move on, I'd like to clean up our interpreter just a little bit. When we run the interpreter, then all of the tests run, and that's good, but what's bad is that we see all the test results print out, and I have to scroll through to see if any fail. A good strategy to avoid that problem is to print out only the errors, which we can do by adding the declaration, print only errors, um, to, our, uh, to our program at the top. So when we say print only errors, and then we run the program, then we only see the errors printed out and there are no errors. If I change uh, my parser to break it, let's say I always return the number zero, then we will see tests that fail print out. And a bunch of them fail now because the parser is broken. So let's restore that. Uh, another thing that I'm going to do is put the tests or anything related to the test inside of a module plus test. And this doesn't make any difference right now, but in the long run, it will avoid problems with, uh, with order, the order of our tests versus the order of our definitions. By putting all of the tests inside module plus test, then we don't have to worry about that order so much. So once I put everything in module plus tests, then we still don't see the test print out, but they did run. The last thing I'd like to clean up is it turns out I don't have enough tests, actually. Um, everything looks like it passes, but how do I know that I've tried all of the code in my program? Like, did I forget to test times? The way I can check this is select Choose Language from Dr. Reckitt's Language Menu, click Show Details, and click Syntactic Test Coverage. And when I rerun the program now, then it's all going to turn black and there's going to be a part of it that is that's made bold here with the black highlight and the error code in orange. That means that I never had a test that actually provided bad input and covered this parse case. In some sense I didn't really care about testing that, but because it's code and because I want to make sure that I have good test coverage, I need a test for that. So what would be a bad input? Uh, if I try test on parse um, let's say minus, because we don't have minus expressions, then I should get an error from parse saying it's bad input. So I can't write a test that checks for that, but I can write test exn and bad input is going to be part of that error message. Right. So, or actually not bad input, but invalid input. So now when I run, let's see, um, I put forward quote instead of back quote. Let's try again. Now when I run, I still have no test failures. My program did not turn all black with any black highlighting. That means I have good test coverage. When you hand in your homework assignments, starting with homework one, uh, your requirements, your homework will be required to have uh, full test coverage in the sense.